Okay, hello everyone. This is Victor Momo. And in this video, I want to talk about a setting in Excel that can get you fired or put you in a lot of trouble. I ask myself, first of all, why do I want to do a video on this? Uh, because by default, that setting is turned off. So, except you go there and turn it on, you are fine. You know, but um, sometimes it's good to know that some of these things exist in the event that, you know, you encounter uh, problems such as this, you know how to troubleshoot. And the reason I'm doing the video too is because I've been talking a lot on uh, formatting recently. And we always say that when you change the formatting of a cell, you actually don't change the value in the cell. You're only changing how it is displayed, right? So the calculations are done with the actual values in the cell, not what is being displayed. Well, now let's see a simple scenario. What I want to do here is just add these two numbers together. Okay. And here I just subtract these two. Right. Now I can decide that I want to show this with no decimal place rather than 1.22.4. I just want it to show as no decimal place. Right. So I want to decrease the decimals. I can just use this and take off. Now, the moment I do that, this changes to 3. I did it should still remain as 3.6, right? But because this changed to 1 and this changed to 2, this has become 3. And if you notice, even in this cell, it's no more 1.6. This is no more, you know, uh, 2.4 or 1.2, 2.4. These are now 1 and 2. You try to undo Control z You can use this so that it's obvious that I'm trying to undo. You see that it's it ain't doing it. So what's going on? Now, this is 2.2, this is 1.6. We know it's 0 0.6. If I decide to show this to um, no decimal place, of course, this will become 2. This will become 2. But that value should not change. So let's change this to. See, it becomes 0. It should still be 0 0.6. So now you see that there's something going wrong with Excel. So why is this happening? So let's go into Excel options so I quickly show us. You can either go through File Options or I prefer to press Alt T O. That's like the old school <coughs> shortcut from 2003. Okay, so once you're in Excel options, you go to the advanced tab. Then you scroll down till you see what to do with calculations for this workbook. <coughs> so now, you see here, it says when calculating this workbook, this setting here is what's causing all that problem. Set precision as displayed. So meaning that what you see is what you get. If I see one, I use one for my calculation. If I see 1.2, I use 1.2 for my calculation. So once you uncheck this, you should be fine. Okay, so let's try again. 1.2 and 2.4 is 3.6. Let's change this to one decimal place or no decimal place rather. Okay, and it's still 3.6. So you see that simple setting could put you in a lot of trouble. Let's go back there. Alt T O um, advanced. Just so you see that if you wanted to turn it on, it would give you a warning. Hmm? Data will permanently lose accuracy. So that's the reason why once you change the value, it changes not just the formatting, but the data itself. It gives you this warning. If you still choose to go ahead, then, you know, whatever befalls you, <laughs> you actually have to take it that way. Okay, so that's really what I wanted to share. Uh, this feels like one of those videos where my catchphrase doesn't seem to fit in, where I say that if you can think it, Excel can do it. But, well, it still remains true either way. If you can think it, Excel can do it. If you like this video, you can hit the like button or you can subscribe to the channel. I'm out.